Kaj, kogaj kami, sama na sur distri, na bovom soporta, sa radio skuela, sa izabela. Communication Hub and Literary Arts Center of SDO Sabella. SDO SDO English Academy. An analogy describes the relationship between the words Sub subject, verb, or teacher. One hand, one hand. English, English Academy. Good morning, dear learners! How are you today? I hope you're all doing great. I am your radio teacher, Cyril Mora, and you are listening to English Academy for Grade 4, only here in Radio Escuela, Sa Isabella. Wow! Are you ready for another exciting and fun lesson full of activities? I am very sure that you will be tickled in doing the task designed for you as we go with our session for today. Now, all you need to do is listen attentively, sit back, relax, and prepare your pen and paper. Okay, you learned from our previous lesson how to write directions using signal words, right? What is the use of signal words in giving directions? Correct! Signal words give the order of the activity. These are used as signals on the next step to follow. They are used in writing directions. Now, can you give examples of signal words? Very good! First, next, then, lastly, are some of the most commonly used signal words in writing directions. Well done, children! You really understood your lesson last time. Now, listen as I read to you two different statements. After which, tell the difference between the two statements. Are you ready? Oh, yeah! Alright! The first statement is Birds build their own nests. I repeat Birds build their own nests. The second statement is Birds use their bills, grass, roots, and soft things to build their nests. Again, birds use their bills, grass, roots, and soft things to build their nests. Do these two statements convey the same thought? Correct! But how do these two statements differ from each other? Exactly! The two statements differ in presenting their meaning. The first one is broad, while the second one gives complete details. As we go with our lesson today, you will surely understand how these two statements differ. Today, children, we will be dealing on distinguishing between general and specific statements. Hence, at the end of the session, you are expected to distinguish between general and specific statements. Are you ready? That's awesome! Now, say I am ready! Amazing children! I really love your energy! This time children, I will read the statements and tell whether the statement is general or specific. Understood? Okay! Number 1 My brother received a Swiss watch for his 15th birthday. Is the statement specific or general? Very good! It's specific! Number 2. Mother bought bags. What do you think is the answer? You got it! The answer is general. How about statement number 3? Adding Nena sells fruits. Exactly. It is a general statement. Next statement, Aling Aiza is a fruit vendor. Great job, children! The answer is, is specific. Kids, based on the given examples, what is a general statement? Very good! 
general statements express the main point or idea. It is broad. It does not refer to particular individuals, things, or ideas. For example, in the statement, Father kept the tool in the box. The statement does not refer to any particular tool Father kept. Did you get it? That's awesome! Now, how about the specific statements? That's correct! Specific statements clarify, explain, and illustrate general statements by referring to particular individuals, things, or ideas. For instance, in the statement, Father kept the hammer in the box. The statement refers to a particular tool which Father kept. General and specific statements are not opposites. General refers to group, while specific refers to individuals. Did you get it? Very good, children. You really are attentive listeners. This time, let us deepen your understanding of the topic. You are going to identify which statement is specific in each number. Ready? Let's start with number 1. A. My best friend lives 4 miles away from my house. B. My best friend lives in a far place. Which statement is specific? That's right! The specific one is letter A. You guys are awesome! Next, number 2. A. The red rose is lovely. B. The flower is lovely. Which statement is specific? Excellent! The specific one is letter A. You guys are awesome! Let's have more! This time, you are going to identify which statement is more specific. Thumbs up if the first statement is more specific and thumbs down if it is the second statement. Ready? Okay, let's start! Number 1. Lisa has two pairs of shoes. Lisa has two red pairs of shoes. Which statement is more specific? That's right! It is the second statement. So, is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Very good! It's a thumbs down. Next, the first statement is The can contains 5 gallons of fresh milk. The second statement is, the can contains milk. So, what is the answer? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Absolutely, it's a thumbs up. Because the first statement is more specific. Number 3. The statements. The cowboy symbolizes freedom and independence. And the cowboy is a symbol that has various meanings. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Excellent! The first statement is more specific. You really did a very good job, children. Awesome performance! This shows that you really understood our lesson. For mastery of learning, let's have a recap on what we have just discussed. What is general statement? Very good! General statements express main point or idea. It is broad and it refers to group. How about specific statements? Very good! Specific statements clarify, explain, and illustrate general statements. It refers to individuals. What kind of statement is this? The birds build their own nest. Good job! It is a general statement. How about this statement? Birds use their bills, grass, roots, and soft things to build their nests. 
absolutely correct. The statement is specific. The first statement is broad and it expresses a main idea while the second statement gives explanation to the first statement. Got it children? You're really amazing! I believe you are now ready to show how far you have gone in our lesson today. So, I will give you 10 seconds to get your quiz notebook and your pen. Now, on your quiz notebook, write quiz number 3 and the date today. Listen carefully to the directions. Draw a table with two columns on your quiz notebook. Write on the first column, general, and on the second one, specific. I will read each sentence or statement and you are going to write down each of these statements under the correct column. I will be reading the statement twice for you to have ample time. Listen attentively, okay? Are you ready, children? That's good! Let's start. Number 1. Birds are small animals. I repeat. Birds are small animals. Number 2. There are lots of birds in the world. Again. There are lots of birds in the world. In the world. Number three, they are colorful. They are colorful. Number four, birds use their body parts to survive and build nests. Again, birds use their body parts to survive and build nests. Number five, they have feet, claws, wings, bills, and beak. I repeat, they have feet, claws, wings, bills, and beak. Wow! Can you still follow, kids? Good to hear that. Okay. For the next item, birds use their beak to eat. I repeat, birds use their beak to eat. Next, number seven, they use their bills to build their nests. Again, they use their bills to build their nests. Number eight, birds produce sounds birds produce sounds number nine birds hum or sing again birds hum or sing for the last statement birds are really wonders of nature i repeat birds are really wonders of nature. So, there you have it, dear learners. Now, it's time for us to check if we have written all the sentences in the right column. Are you ready, children? Now, here are the statements under general column. Birds are small animals. There are lots of birds in the world. Birds use their body parts to survive and build nests. Birds produce sounds. Birds are really wonders of nature. Did you get it? Great! This time, Check whether you got all statements under the specific column. Here are the specific statements. They are colorful. They have feet, claws, wings, bills, and beak. Birds use their beak to eat. They use their bills to build their nests. Birds hum or sing. So, did you get them all correctly, children? 
Awesome! You really deserve a resounding clap! That would be all for today, dear children. I hope you enjoyed listening and learning many things from our lesson today. On behalf of the scriptwriter for this episode, Ms. Melowin G. Baganu, and the SDO Isabella RDI production team, this is your radio teacher, Cyril Mora. I hope to be with you again in the next episode of English Academy, only here in Radio Escuela sa Isabella. Always remember, never stop learning! Because life never stops teaching. Until our next exciting and fun-filled learning. Have a good day, children. Patuloy, patuloy ang edukasyon para sa ating generasyon. Sa gaan ng pagkatuto ay walang may iwan. Kaya halina sa radyo. Radyo. Radyo Eskwela.